No sausage lines, everybody, but we do have a rainbow. And uh, while you look at it, I just would like to say that uh, should the eventuality of an Oribe uh, actually occur in the Sabi sand, I want you to hold Tristan to his promise to do a flick flack, was it? I'd like to see Tristan Dix assume it the position to do a flick flack, uh, perhaps on one of the roads there, Gari Main. I'm not sure that Tristan uh, appreciates that he and I, of course, are long past our most athletic. Uh, he less so than me, of course. Uh, but uh, flick flacks, I think, possibly a thing of the past. Rainbows, however, you could be any age to enjoy. Let's continue. We've kind of done a bit of a turn, and we're heading now we're basically storm running. There's a storm there, there's a storm there, there's a storm there, and so now we're heading towards the only patch of sun we can see. Oh, look at these mouse birds. Look at that. In this caparis bush. Speckled mouse birds, I think. Oh, that's very special. <laughs> we so often, oh, we so seldom stop for too many birds here. You know, there aren't the sort of tree-lined drainage lines that there are at Juma. And so normally it's a little sticker that flits up out of the bush and then disappears again. But here we have a whole lot of mouse birds. And one day I really hope that our signal will be sufficient that we can drive you from the gate to the reserve up to our camp. Because we go through this magnificent forest and you get trogans in there and you get Ross's taracos and you get all sorts of beautiful birds and many olive baboons. And maybe with time we'll be able to do that. You want to know about ground nesting birds and if there are any in the Mara other than lapwings that nest on the ground? Uh, we, yes, yes, well, we get dickops, of course. We get, oh, not dickops, thick knees now they're called. Uh, what else would nest on the ground? Lay its eggs. Ostriches nest on the ground, of course. Not often you find them in trees. So they, of course, nest on the ground. I'm not sure. Uh, the Cory Bustard, I don't think, does. I think they nest in trees. Uh, what else? We've got Franklins, of course. Franklins nest uh, on the ground, don't they? Yes, they do. Franklins nest on the ground. And interestingly, many of the cysticular species nest not quite in the, uh, in the same way that a lapwing does in open ground, but they do nest in almost on the ground underneath bushes, a number of the cysticular species. So yeah, there are quite a few ground nesting birds. And here, I mean, look at all this thick grass. If I was a ground nesting bird, I'd be much happier about putting my eggies uh, around here than I would, say, on quarantine clearings, where they're likely to be discovered because the grass isn't quite as thick as it is here. We're now going through some pure grassland, no savanna anymore. Now, Scott apparently has managed to find himself some sun spots and a little bit of a signal. So let's go to him and find out where on earth his cheetah brothers are.